What is up guys? In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to ergonomically set up Premiere Pro for beginners. How's it going you guys? Johnny here and in this channel, I do a lot of travel and food vlogs as well as tools and tutorials just like this one. So if that's something you're interested in, please consider subscribing. Alright guys, just a quick disclaimer, I am a native English speaker so if I talk funny, please forgive me. And also I am by no means a pro, so this thing I'm be I'll be sharing with you guys is everything that I've learned in the past few years of editing. Also guys, this video is the start of a new series which I will talk about Premiere Pro and I will be sharing all my knowledge about editing using Premiere Pro. So for now, let's talk about the basics. Alright guys, so once you have your Premiere Pro installed, let's go ahead and open it. By the way guys, it doesn't matter if you're using a Windows OS or Mac OS, it will pretty much be the same. The only difference is that instead of using Control, I think in the Mac OS you will have to press um, Command. Alright, so once you have it open, go to File, New, and create a new project. So let's title this one test for the sake of this video you can save this um, project wherever you want to save it but for the sake of this video let's put it in desktop actually you can put it where all your footages are at so that it is, it is easier to access so regarding the renderer we will use CUDA because my computer is equipped with an NVIDIA graphic card and if you're using a different graphic card, say Radeon or Intel, you can use OpenCL, since CUDA will not be available as well. I will talk more in depth about all of these settings in a different video that will come in the future. So for now, let's select CUDA. Don't change anything else. That's okay. Select okay, okay. All right. So after selecting okay, you will come over this um, workstation wherein you have all these tabs in Windows docs and panels so it might appear differently in your end but don't worry you can always edit those so how to edit your workstation you can go to window and check all the necessary windows that you want so for the sake of this video if you're a beginner I suggest you click or check all the windows that I have checked in my end and of course uncheck those are not included so once you're done with that, let's proceed to editing our workstation. So here in this tab, we have the project uh, browser. So you can undock that and after undocking that, just move the cursor in this side or in this part until the rectangular thing on the lower right side appears. Then click that, drag it wherever you want it. So in this case, I want to put it here. Just drag this until this bean appears so that it doesn't really take too much of real estate so yeah uh, my premiere pro appears like this because it has already been modified before i've already edited it so it appears like this so uh, you can edit any other windows or panels as to your liking but i suggest since this is a tutorial or rather a suggestion for my personal preference on how to ergonomically set up your Premiere Pro, I suggest you follow this one because everything with this setup, everything is within reach. For example, the source panel. Let's say let's drag this uh, video over here in your project browser. So here contains all the media that you have. Um, it could be the footage, the music, the effects, actually the sound effects rather the photos, the adjustment layers, everything will be in your project browser. So if you double click this, let's proceed to our other panel, which has the source um, tab. The source tab, if you double click here, it will appear here. So you can have a preview of the video. I'm sorry about that, I forgot to mute my computer. So you can have a preview of the video that you before putting it in your main timeline. And the next tab will be Audio Clip Mixer. So Audio Clip Mixer, for example, let's drag it here. 
you can change the level of the audio say you want it higher or louder or you want it to be more subtle so you can change it here the next is the effects in the effects uh, first let's create an adjustment layer let's put it here all right so effects control the effects contains all the necessary effects like transition um, crap um, Gaussian blur everything actually all the effects in Premiere Pro are in here so let's say let's put crap on our adjustment layer so just drag and drop go to effects control and by the way guys the effects control tab is beside the effects so you can you can easily toggle it and you can easily edit the effects that you add just added on your footages or on the adjustment layers say let's put 10 here and on the bottom 10 there you now have a cinematic bar on your footage alright guys so next let's proceed to the other panel which has the program panel this program panel is actually the real-time preview of your timeline so in here you can also access this wrench tool which is re really useful we will talk more about that in the future it also contains the global effects mute that you can edit in from here and toggle proxies next frame play stop and this panel right here only contains that program because I want this panel to do that specific task and nothing else so just leave it like that the next panel here we have the lumetri color and essential graphics Lumetri color is where you do your color grading so I find myself using this color grading or Lumetri color rather more and more since I wanted to change for example basic corrections I want to change the exposure on my footages the highlights the contrasts shadows I can easily change that because it is within reach and also if I want to add some say color grading let's say that one I can always access it here and yeah that's pretty much it for the Lumetri color next let's move to the essential graphics so essential graphics contains all those titles all the effects all the um, you know pretty much the visual effects on your videos other than the effects that is contained from here here you can have the MORGT, MOGRT files that for example the titles let's select one for example for example this Christmas title you can put it here and edit it if you want you can edit it as well from this panel so under the central graphics you can edit either browse and edit you can change everything so yeah that's pretty much it for the Lumetri color and essential graphics panel next let's proceed to this side here contains the tools that are really necessary for your editing remember the shortcuts as well because you will use a lot of shortcuts here for example the cut tool letter C and the select tool is letter V your ripple tool letter R so yeah you will learn more about these when you start editing they're really useful and these shortcuts are as much as useful so next let's proceed to this one which contains the audio audio levels so if you play your video so yeah it contains the audio level green is okay yellow is um red is a no-no <laughs> because it will you know basically annoy your viewers and what else yeah lastly the timeline so as you can see guys the timeline takes up most of the real estate in this kind of workstation because if you're gonna do some speed ramping you will need a lot of space if you have a little space just like this one you will really have a hard time editing your footages with a space this small so I suggest you put it a enough space for you to work on because this is your main timeline you will put everything here effects sounds everything guys yep so that is pretty much it for today's episode guys I hope you learned something today 
if you have any comments, suggestions, or recommendations, or if you have a better workstation than I do, please comment in the comment section below. Once again, my name is Johnny Wonders. See you in the next one. Peace!